I've just created an audio version of my latest blog post. Let's check it out. Welcome to Brainstorm Force. If you want to improve your WordPress skills, please subscribe to our channel below. And today I'll be showing you how you can do this on your WordPress website too. How's it going guys? I'm Yaz from the Brainstorm Force team, creators of the Astro theme, back with another WordPress tutorial for you guys. And if you're new to the channel, we create content about our latest product updates, as well as tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you're interested in improving your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. And as I mentioned, I'll be showing you how to create audio versions of your WordPress blog posts. And this has a number of benefits. For one, it can greatly improve the accessibility of your content. So this means that people who are unable to consume content by reading can still enjoy your content via audio. Number two, having an audio version of your blog post allows you to reach an even larger audience. It allows you to reach those people who prefer consuming their content via audio rather than by reading. And lastly, you also have the option of repurposing your content and using the audio format of your blog post as a video or even a podcast. So if you guys are ready, let's jump into the video. When creating an audio version of your blog post, there are two options you can go with. You can have someone read out the content like a voice actor, but alternatively, what I'll show you today is how you can do that by using a text-to-speech plugin on your WordPress website. Now, it may not be as realistic as using a voice talent, but it's a lot cheaper. There are a lot of options when it comes to these plugins. The ones I'd recommend are on screen right now. Trinity Audio is a great option with a really good free plan that allows you to convert up to five articles into audio per month. Play.ht is also great, but doesn't come with a free plan. And you also have Amazon Polly through AWS. This one's a great option because it gives you a very gracious free plan for the first year, and it's relatively cheap with the paid plans too. And Amazon Polly probably has the most natural sounding voice out of all these plugins. With these plugins, it'll automatically convert your post into an audio format and have the player sitting right on your blog post. In this video, I'll be demonstrating using Amazon Polly, but if you wanna check out the other plugins I've just mentioned, I'll leave links to them in the description below. All right, let's head on to our WordPress website, and this one is one I've created with the Astra theme and one of their starter templates. It's a really cool baking blog template, and it comes with everything you see on screen right now, all installed at a click of a button. If you wanna check out Astra, I'll leave a link in the description below. But anyway, we're gonna navigate into our WordPress dashboard up here, and we're gonna go ahead and install the Amazon AWS plugin. So we go into plugins on the left-hand side here and press add new. And on the right-hand side, we can search for Amazon Polly. Is the one we're looking for is AWS for WordPress. We can press install now. And after that, you can press activate. All right, as you can see, the plugin has now been activated, but first we must go into Amazon AWS, sign up and connect it to our plugin on our WordPress website. So first we'll go and register with Amazon AWS. I'll leave a link for the sign up page in the description below. So first you have to enter your email address. So as you can see, I've entered my credentials here, your email address, password, and an AWS account name. This can be anything you want. And once that's done, press continue, and then it will ask you to fill in some more details. Once that's all filled in, we can go ahead and press agree onto the terms and condition here. You can read that if you'd like to. I'm just gonna press continue. And here it will ask you to enter your credit card details. Now don't worry, they're not gonna charge you anything. They're only gonna put a hold on $1 just to help verify your identity. And don't worry, everything we'll be doing in this video will all be done within the free limitations of this service. And once you've finished signing up, you can go ahead and sign in. And right here, we're on the sign in menu. See up at the top, it said sign in. And we're just gonna keep it on root user. Then you have to type in your email address and then you can press next. And once you log in, you should see a page that looks like this. And then you go up to the top right here where your username is, click on that, and go down here into my security credentials. And then you'll see this menu right here. And what we're looking for is access keys. And as you can see, I've already created one here, an access key, and we're gonna be creating a new one by pressing this blue button here. Your access key has been created successfully, and we can click on the download key file, or we can leave this open right here. So for now, we're gonna leave this open, and we're gonna go back into our WordPress dashboard. Last time we left the WordPress dashboard, we had just activated the AWS plugin, and you'll see that on the bottom left right here. We're gonna go into general, and this is where we're gonna be entering the AWS access key that we just created. So I'm gonna go ahead and back onto Amazon AWS. We're gonna copy this access key, hit copy, bring that back here, and paste it right here. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the secret key, right here. Copy and paste that right here. And then it asks you to pick your AWS region. 
and you can pick the closest one to you. For me, that's Asia Pacific, Sydney. I'm going to save changes now. Awesome. Once that's all done, it should say settings saved. And now the plugin is ready and we can proceed to create audio versions of our blog posts. Now we'll go down here into text to speech right here. And at the top here, source language, you have all these options you can choose from as well. And for our blog post, we're going to proceed with English. And down at the bottom right here, enable text to speech support. We're going to check on that and press save changes. And once the settings have been saved, it will bring up all these new options you see on screen right now. And I'll walk you through them one by one right now. So right here at the top, it says voice name. Currently, it's at US English Matthew. And if you open that, you have all these different options you can choose from for your voice. I'm going to leave that on English Matthew. And it also has this option here, neural text to speech. This is basically Amazon's premium text to speech voices. And as you can see, it's quite limited in terms of availability. It's currently only available for US and UK English voices. And they're priced a little bit more than the standard voice packages. But as you can see here, neural voices are priced at $16 per 1 million characters. But that's outside of the first 12 months. And this is where I'll talk a little bit about the pricing. So when it comes to the standard voices, you can use up to 5 million characters per month for the first 12 months. And when it comes to the neural voices, you can use up to 1 million characters per month for the first 12 months. After that, then the pricing will kick in. And if you want to check out the full pricing structure, I'll leave a link for that in the description below. And they also have a really helpful price calculator on their website too. All right, I'm going to leave neural text-to-speech turned on right here so I can demonstrate that for you guys. You can also check newscaster style or conversational style. I'm going to go with conversational style because the baking blog that we have is a little bit more on the casual side. And you can keep the sampling rate at 24,000. And we're going to put in automated breaths as well. AWS creates breathing noises at appropriate intervals for you, which is pretty cool. We'll see how well that works. And it will leave the rest of these as is. Audio speed at 100. And down here, this is related to how the audio player will sit on your blog page. So for us, it's currently set to before post. You can put it after post, or you can set it to do not show as well. We're just going to leave it at before post so that when visitors visit your blog post, they can see that they have the audio option right at the top. You can also add a player label right beside the player. I'm going to write something like something like that, hint, hint. And then we're also going to leave it as a new post default, where it has Amazon Poly enabled for every new post you create. You can also enable autoplay so that when the blog page is loaded, it automatically starts playing that audio content. I'm just going to leave that off so users will have to click on the play button once they arrive on the page. And lastly, we arrive on this section, additional configuration, bulk update all posts. This will update all the posts with audio versions enabled to match any changes we made on this page. You can even add post title to the audio by checking this. So it will read out the title of the post before reading the contents. You can also add a post excerpt to the audio. I'm going to leave that checked. Enable media library support you can skip the tags. You can also enable a download button for the player so that anyone that wants to listen to it on the go, they can download it as well. You can also choose to store your audio on Amazon S3 if you're using that service. I'm just going to uncheck that here. I'm going to leave the post types as is default. I'm also going to leave Amazon CDN blank here as well. The last few we see here display powered by AWS. It just means that it will show powered by AWS right underneath the player. Just to make it a cleaner look, I'm just going to uncheck this. And I'm also going to keep enable logging checked. All right, those are all the settings you need to do. Now we're going to save the changes and check out our blog posts. And I've actually gone ahead and created this blo random blog post you see here called chocolate chip cookies. Again, because this is a baking blog, I've gone ahead and created a random blog post related to baking just for this tutorial. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see here, I've generated this small article using a random article generator. It just takes a keyword and generates this article. It's pretty cool and really random at the same time. But what's important is at the bottom of your blog editor, you'll see Amazon Polly down here with enable text-to-speech checked right here. You can also change the voice name for that particular post. I'm going to go ahead and change it to British English Amy. It also has a button to how much will this cost to convert. It just brings up this text here that gives you a summary of the pricing plan. You can also go check out the full information about pricing through the link at the bottom there. That's all we need to know. We're going to close that. And once that's all enabled and the voice has been selected, it will automatically go ahead and create that audio version of your blog post, and that will sit on your actual blog post on your live website. Let's update this, and we'll go check that out. Post has been updated. We're going to click on View Post. And here we are on our blog post. And as you can see, it's on our live website. And right underneath the title, we have our audio player. 
And this is the audio version of this blog post right here, this exact text, and I'll just play it for you right now. Chocolate chip cookies. No, it's not just a cookie preference. If you had to close your eyes and picture the best chocolate chip cookies, they would probably be something like this, chewy, gooey treats that crumble at first touch, held together only by the melt. And you get the idea of how it works. Or was it me or did it sound a lot like Nigella Lawson, the famous English television cook? Let me know down in the comments if you thought so as well. But anyway, that's how it works. A whole blog post has been converted into an audio version really easily and almost instantly. And it also has the little label we created here, subscribe to Brainstorm Force, hint, hint, once again. You can also adjust the volume over here. Really simple and clean looking player. Doesn't give you too many options to modify how this looks visually, but it does look really clean if you're into that look. You can also choose to download the audio right here. And as you can see, the file has been downloaded onto my local machine. But that's it, that's how it works and you can do this for all your blog posts. And here's another article example I prepared for you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and press play right now. A poke cake is a cake that is baked in a single layer and then intentionally poked with holes. Those holes are then filled with something creamy or liquidy. That filling seeps into the entire cake, infusing it with flavorful moistness. And that voice sounded really calming in my opinion. Let me know if you guys thought so as well. And that's how you can create audio versions of all your blog posts on your WordPress website. And that's it for this video. If you guys got stuck anywhere along the way, or if you guys had any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you got value from this video, make sure you hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here, or you can watch even more of our content by clicking over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.